In the two-level directory structure, even though each user is having a separate directory, inside it is a flat file system where the files are not organized or structured. Thus, the two-level directory structure is extended to form the tree structured directory. Here, at the root level, there is a directory which can be referred to as the root directory. Thereon, each directory can contain a set of subdirectories or a set of files or both. Suppose at level 1, we have three subdirectories named user1, user2, and program. Here, user1 and user2 are user level directories. Now, each of these subdirectories will be having an entry in the root level directory pointing to the corresponding subdirectory. Now, this user directory can either contain file entries or even the files can be organized further into subdirectories and so on. The, the root is always a directory and the leaves are the files and any directory can contain either a set of subdirectories or a set of files or a combination of both. Now, how do the user access files at various levels? And if one user wishes to access another user's file and if the access is permitted, then how it is done. This is done by using the concept of path name and the chain directory methods. Every file will be having a unique path name which is a path from the root through all the subdirectories to the file. And the path name can be of two types, the absolute path name and relative path name. The absolute path name starts from the root and follows a path through all the subdirectories to the file. For example, the absolute path name for this file mail is user1 slash list slash program slash mail. And if the user is Currently, in the directory user1 one, user one slash list, then the relative path name for the same file is program slash mail. The directory the user is currently working at is referred to as the current directory of the user. Whenever a file is referred by the user by just specifying the file name, then the current directory is searched. And if the file referred is not in the current directory, then the user should specify the path name. Similarly, if the user wishes to access any other file in any other user directory, then also he can access it by using the path name only if the access is permitted. In addition, the chain directory method can also be used here to make the access easier. If a file is wished to be accessed by a user, which is not inside the current directory of the user. Now, the user can change his directory to be the directory holding that file. A chain directory system call will be available to redefine the current directory. From here onwards, either the file can be accessed by specifying the file name or he can access the file by using the path name. Similarly, if one user wishes to access any other file inside other user's directory, then also he can use the same method. 
Whenever a user log in, some accounting file will be searched and an entry will be found and the user will be directed to his own user level directory. Now, if the user needs to access the file in any other user's directory, then he can use the change directory method to move to the other user's directory. Thereon, he can access the file either by using path name or by moving to the corresponding subdirectory and specifying the file names.